I will tell you how to set the temperature control panel on this higher digital refrigerator. Other than this, what is the AI setting in this refrigerator? Blue turbo cooling is installed in this refrigerator, so how it work? Other than this, we will explore what parts are installed in its display and how they are technically working. To know about the blue turbo cooling, it's important that we unscrew it. One screw is installed here on the left side. The other screw is installed on its right side. As I separate it from the fridge's upper body, we can see two wire connectors. The one is white in color. The other is black in color. I will remove both of these connectors. The turbo cooling is in my hand now. I will open this turbo system and check what is installed inside it. I have put a flat scrapper in this empty space. I am applying force towards me. The plastic cover has come out from this corner. I will apply force to open the other side of the plastic cover. The wire with the white connector is a light, which is a blue color which I will show you. This fan is installed in it. I will remove this fan to check which fan is it. I will pull the fan by holding both clips. It easily comes out of its box. This is a DC fan. It is clearly written on it. It is 12 volt DC and 0.10 amps flow through it. I will put it back how I removed it from the cover. I will first put the bottom side of the fan. I will be careful not to break the locks on top of the plastic cover. I will install the light cover back on the top of the box. The cover has been installed back. I have turned the refrigerator on. The blue colored light has turned on. Let me tell you what is the turbo system in it. When this blue light turns on it kills the bacteria and germs. Because they cannot live in blue light, the fan that I showed you in it is working fine. The air is forcefully circulated in the refrigerator through a fan which has converted it to turbo cooling. This means that it will try to cool the fridge compartment quickly. This is why it is named as turbo cooling. This fan is so silent that I am not able to determine whether the fan is working or not. Let's check which direction the fan is throwing air. It is blowing air outward which is in the direction of the fridge front wall. As it is installed this way, the fridge is cooled from the back. So it sucks the air from this duct and blows it to this area of the fridge. The cool air is spread in the fridge and the cycle continues. I will now show you how the digital display is installed in this refrigerator and how the touch system of its display works. To test it I have come on the top of the refrigerator door. I will remove the display to test it, I will use the proper tools for it. But if you don't have proper tools then you don't try to open the display of your refrigerator to test it, as it could get damaged. I will insert a flat scrapper inside this empty space. Now I will start pushing it outward. I will insert another scrapper in it. Another lock is here, I will open it further using this lock. I will have to find the lock, which I will show you after removing the display. The lock is present over here. It has come out. I will keep pressing the lock upward, and the rest of the lock will open up. The display has three locks. Two hooks are installed on the display, one is this and the other is this. I will press these hooks and pull the display. The display has started to come upward. I will now remove the display carefully with consolation. This hook was getting stuck here. Pull the display out from the refrigerator. A connector is attached here on the display. Pull the connector outward. This is the display side of this panel. At the back side, its PCB is installed. A panel cover is mounted on the top of this display. Let's remove it and check. I have pushed the display lock downward. Some springs are installed inside the panel. Let me zoom the camera. These springs are the touch buttons of this panel. Let me explain how these springs work as touch buttons. These springs are positively attached to the PCB board. The positive charge is generated here which is a type of capacitance. When the human touches the panel, the spring at that time is positively charged. The touch by humans is negatively charged. Thus the circuit completes. This makes the difference in the capacitance, and the microcontroller senses this difference and gets to know that the human has touched which button on the panel. This also helps to change that program in the refrigerator. 
Now I will fit it back in the refrigerator. Now I will make you understand the control panel of this refrigerator, and we will see what function the company has fed in this refrigerator. This refrigerator has two safety systems. You saw that this screen was working first, but now it has turned off. This is a screen saving feature in this refrigerator. What is the reason behind using the screen saving feature in the refrigerator? However, if this light stays on, there will be no problem. The display has LED lights installed. If these LED lights keep glowing, they will heat up and will go bad. That is why the company has put this screen saving feature in this refrigerator. When you don't touch the screen for a long time, the lights will stop glowing. When the OK button is pressed, the display will start to glow, and you will see all the settings of the refrigerator. The next safety is the child lock. This touch panel can be locked to prevent the refrigerator setting from being changed by a naughty child or mistakenly. The lock on the display is turned on. And when this is turned on we can't use any button on this control panel. Press the OK button for 3 seconds, the lock disappears from the screen. Now we can make changes to the refrigerator settings. This refrigerator has four buttons in its touch panel. The first is the temperature zone. The second is the temperature set. Third is the function set. The fourth button is the OK with 3S written on it. With temperature set the temperature of the refrigerator can be set up manually. When I press this button, a 1 degree temperature is shown on it. Every direct cool refrigerator has its control system inside its bottom compartment. It's never installed in the top compartment of the refrigerator. A manual refrigerator has a thermostat that is installed inside the fridge, not the freezer. This refrigerator also has a single temperature setting for the fridge compartment. This one degree on the display is indicating that we have set the temperature of the fridge compartment. When the fridge compartment reaches one degree, then the compressor will turn off. The temperature setting has no concern with the freezer. If the refrigerator takes 4 hours to get to 1 degree, the freezer will keep cooling whether the temperature in the freezer reaches minus 18, 20, or 22 degrees. If the temperature of the fridge compartment not reaches 1 degree, till then the compressor will keep working, and when it reaches the set temperature, the compressor will cut off. A 2 degree temperature difference is kept. This means when the temperature inside the refrigerator reaches 3 degrees, the compressor will turn on again. The cycle keeps continuing. Three other settings are also in this refrigerator in which one of them is the AI artificial intelligence setting. When I press this function set button, the power cool option is shown on the display. When I press it again, the power freeze is displayed. Pressing this button the third time fuzzy is displayed. This fuzzy is actually the AI setting. Before explaining this let me tell you about the power cool. After pressing the function set button, you see the power cool blinking. To activate it I will press the OK button with it. The power cool function has been activated in this refrigerator. If you set the power cool function in this refrigerator, let me show you by doing it, so you may understand it easily. For example, I have set the temperature to 7 degrees. But now I need to use the power cool setting, so the 7 degrees I set has been deactivated and the power cool function has been activated. As the power cool is activated, the refrigerator will try to cool the fridge to 1 degree. And when it cool till 1 degree and then it will turn off the compressor otherwise, it will not cut off the compressor. So this feature is useful for those who don't want to set the temperature manually. The freezer compartment will cool till minus 18 degrees. The fridge will cool to 1 degree. Now I will set the next function. I will cancel this previous function by pressing the function button. And after pressing the OK button the power cool function has been deactivated. The previous temperature of 7 degrees that I had set has started to blink. Now the refrigerator will cool to 7 degrees. The next function is power freeze which is also a very interesting function. When the power freeze function is turned on, the rest of the functions of the refrigerator will be deactivated. Now the main control of the refrigerator is with the freezer. The refrigerator will work according to the freezer. The refrigerator will try to achieve minus 18 degrees in the freezer. Unless the freezer does not cool to minus 18 degrees. 
the compressor will keep working. Now it has no connection with the fridge compartment temperature. The compressor will stop when the temperature of the freezer will reach minus 18 degrees. The compressor will run again with a 2 degree temperature difference in the freezer and stop at minus 18 degrees. The cycle will keep continuing. The next function is fuzzy. This is the artificial intelligence function. And now the refrigerator will work through AI. Let me explain how this AI system works in this refrigerator. To use it the company has installed four sensors in the refrigerator. Let me show you the sensor connector in the control board of this refrigerator. This is the first, second, the black is third, and this is the fourth. The detail is given about these sensors on the control board, but that a normal person could not understand this. You will understand it through the wiring diagram. B, C, D and E are the four sensors. The B is the refrigerator sensor. C is the freezer sensor. E is the humidity sensor. The D is the evaporator sensor. In the freezer, this is the place where the sensor is installed. This is how the sensor is installed in the freezer. Next is the fridge sensor, and this is the fridge sensor. The humidity sensor is installed with the door at the top. The fourth sensor is installed with the evaporator. We could not see the evaporator in this refrigerator, which is why it is hidden. It may be installed with the freezer or the fridge evaporator. So you saw where these sensors are installed in this refrigerator. The main sensor of this refrigerator is the humidity sensor. It senses the temperature of the room and the environment and then it runs the refrigerator according to that temperature. For example, if the temperature is too hot, it will cool the refrigerator more according to that temperature. And if the temperature is normal, then it will cool according to it. To make the food not that cold nor that warm. So it will according to these sensors work artificially, you will need to do no other setting in your refrigerator then. If your area is too warm, then don't use this function. But if the temperature in your area is normal, lower than 20 degrees, then use this artificial intelligence function. Otherwise, you can use the rest of the function in your refrigerator according to your need to prevent the food from spoiling in your refrigerator. This OK button is for selecting a function and locking this display panel. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.